okay girl welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Chrissy thank you so much for tuning in in today's video I will be going over my August fragrance tray so if you want to see what I'll be wearing for the month of August keep watching okay, so first before we get into the fragrances I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back child because first of all it's my business but I have been doing so well with sticking to the fragrances on my tray for that particular month now I may add one or two fragrances that are currently not on the tray just to make like a combo if i'm like mm, it's missing something but overall i have been sticking to what i have on my tray and it's really been more so like convenient because i have it right on my dresser and i can just get dressed spray and like out the door so again it has been such a lifesaver i have gotten reacquainted reacquainted excuse me with some of my fragrances that i have not picked up in a while especially this fragrance tray i'm going to talk about some of these i have not used i don't even want to say <laughs> so we just hope that they're still going to perform like i remember when i first started wearing them so we're going to get right into it i have about six or seven fragrances for this month and i'll kind of just like any other video when i would wear it how i would wear it all the things so the first one is going to be none other than Louis Vuitton, Artrot Revis. Girl, I don't know. We always tussle with the name of this fragrance. <sighs> it is so divine. It's a little bit fruity, floral. Of course, the notes will be on the screen, but I clearly am in love with this fragrance. I have been wearing this, honestly, like in the day and the night. And because I may be rushing the seasons, but I feel like fall is like really, really around the corner, which I'm so grateful for, Libra, Diva, but stay focused. <laughs> um, I think it does well with like transitioning into the night as well. It lasts so long on my skin and my clothes, like eight hours. I won't say a little goes a long way because I kind of overspray this, but I can see how it could give someone like a slight little headache just a little bit um yeah when i think about it i'm like oh maybe i have been over spraying but i love this fragrance so 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 much i normally wear this by itself it's kind of sweet it's creamy it's floral it's fruity is probably not the best word to describe it but i love this fragrance even so i wear it you know during my day job in corporate america I don't have any issues. Actually, it does uh, leave like a lingering scent trail and I get tons of compliments when I wear this fragrance. So this one, I will be pulling out this month for sure. And especially as we get kind of into the end of the month, hopefully when the temperature is gonna start to adjust down, <laughs> please. Um, I will definitely have this in rotation more in the evening, but I have been wearing it, like I said, day and night if i'm going somewhere and i'm like out at work traveling to meet a client and then i have to go to like and i not have to but i end up going to a happy hour or something this is easy for me to just like when i'm freshening up put this on and keep it moving so this is the first one for the month again louis vuitton i trap rivets girl i don't know the next fragrance for this month is going to be chloe nomad again another floral fragrance the notes on this or in this one is going to be bergamot lemon jasmine roses obviously patchouli got a little theme here amberwood white musk and sandalwood i know very floral warm it's still on the tray <laughs> it is still on the tray i have not sprayed this perfume i have not laid eyes on this perfume until i did this video this year this is the first time like it kind of was like out of sight out of mind which is not a compliment but it performs well so i don't know why i kind of got off the train but i like it and it's more like safe soft girl dainty scent for me it's not like a heavy hit or rbe in my opinion but i do like this like um i do like this for more 
you know, workplace or if you're going to like church, like it's not doing a whole lot, but it is still a great scent. It definitely performs. It lasts a long time. I would say like six, seven hours on me and it doesn't um, like become like a skin scent. It still smells really good throughout the, you know, time that I'm wearing it. So I don't have any issues with it. Again, I don't know why I did not pick this up a little bit more. Maybe again, like throughout the rest of the months, I will. But I'm excited to give this one a spin. I have quite a few like engagements. So to wear this would be just like right chef's kiss. So yes, this is the second one for this month. Next we have Cherry Garden by House of Siage. The bottle is dramatic. I love it. It has some weight to it for sure. I do not travel with this fragrance. But anyway, the notes are gonna be cherry blossom. It has some vanilla and white musk. I think it has bergamot in it as well. Now, this one for sure is one that will be used or worn at night, on a cool night. I don't see myself wearing this like in the daytime, just from the notes and the, the you know, almond and the bergamot and everything. I just think it may perform a little bit better. They call this a fruity floral. Okay, girl. Again, nighttime for me. I can be outside with it, but it's definitely like a nighttime fragrance. It's not one that I would grab just like in the day to go to a meeting or want to air in something like that. No, if this one has a special time and place that it will be worn, okay? Okay, if you have this, let me know if you pair this with anything because again, I like it, but I feel like I could layer this with something and it would really just take it up another notch. Next we have Prada La Femme. Okay, so this is considered an amber floral and the notes on this one is going to be vanilla, beeswax, ylang ylang. I haven't, oh my God, I'm slacking on the ylang ylang. Ylang ylang and then bergamot just we we like what we like i wear this day and night it's soft it is not like a heavy hitter but it definitely is a crowd pleaser i over spray this fragrance i will say it doesn't last as long as i would like so hence the over spraying but i am i'm so here for it Ugh. yes i love it some people may think this is a little bit mature. I'm okay with it. It doesn't give me like old lady, obviously, but I do like the more feminine grown woman scent for this one. It, this mixed and blended very well. So this is one that I can consider wearing day and night. Doesn't matter. It almost smells, this is not gonna sound very good, but like a, it could be like a, a very, like your skin scent, like an everyday type of, okay, this is good, this is light. It is going to kind of transition from day to night. I don't have to worry about, you know, doing too much with this scent. It, it is like perfect. It is definitely perfect. One you could throw in your purse and like, just again, doesn't matter the type of event, where you're going, you can go run errands, you can put this on, you can go to work, you can put this on, you can go on a date, you can put this on. It doesn't matter. I enjoy this one. I've worn it quite a bit. Definitely, definitely one that I'm like, wow. Where have you been, girl? I mean, you've been on the shelf, but I'm glad that it is now back in rotation. Next, we have J'adore De Ou Parfum. This one is considered a white floral. It has jasmine, magnolia, honeysickle, and rose. They have a few other notes as well, but those are the ones that come to mind. She's an everyday girl as well. She's an everyday, doesn't matter the occasion, daytime, nighttime, inside, outside. I love this one because it definitely lasts quite a while. I would say like six hours, so that's enough for this fragrance. I, I'll be honest, I wear more in the daytime. However, there have been times where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wear this tonight. You know, I don't need too much. I'm just going out real quick, coming back. This is this is the girl. This is the girl for that. So I'm excited. 
I got this one in October and I really didn't pull her out until like the next like spring. So the fact that I'm now like putting it on the end of the in August just says like, okay, you can wear it like any time of year, essentially. Um, I want to see how well it does perform for later fragrance trays. So it may be on one depending on how much I grab it this month. But again, it is so good. It is, it's just, clearly I'm in like a floral feeling and I'll tell you now when I grab my fragrances it's somewhat organic so the fact that many of these have like the florals or the rose or the bergamot it just tells you like what type of vibe <laughs> I'm on for that month it's not all over the place typically it isn't but this one is very like tuning there is one that could be like okay that's a little left field but anyway so yes this is the next one for August this one is a little left, not really, kind of, sort of. It's going to be Lotus Pear by The Seven Virtues. It says it is best for improving focus, mood balancing, and feeling blissful. I have not quite experienced that and, and, and thought like, oh, that is the fragrance. So I'll keep y'all posted when I wear it this month. But yes, the notes are going to be pear, peach, gardenia, jasmine, um, and then rose is also in here, orange blossom. So a little fruity. Like I said, a little different from the other ones, but it still has the rose. It still has the jasmine. So not too far off the path, but definitely with the peach and the pear is, it's fruity. This one, it's like, when would you wear this? I would wear this one like a weekend scent. This is fun. It's like going out, hanging out, having a good time. Like it is definitely like that girly. Again, I don't, fun is like just the only word that's coming to my mind right now, but a weekend scent. I'm not saying I won't wear it on Monday, <laughs> but it's definitely one that I'm like, okay, I'm cute. I'm dressed up. You know, I, I got, you know, my thing going on. Let's pull this out. So I can see me definitely pulling for this more on the weekend and then I'm going on like two quick trips this month so she'll definitely be in the in the bag because it's easy to travel with I don't know how this one oh 1.7 fluid out so it's definitely one that I can just throw in the bag and be good through TSA if you know you know <laughs> the last one is going to be one of my faves and it is well all of these are my faves but it is bond number nine Nolita Ugh, it's so good of course it is a floral it has tangerine lily jasmine rose musk amber and sandalwood the base notes of the musk amber and sandalwood i do not necessarily feel like i get a ton of that it's really those middle notes and the top notes of the tangerine and the rose and the lily so so good i wear this both day and night day and night I wear this. This is also a weekend scent for me. I have, ooh, I think I have like four Bond fragrances right now. I don't travel with these. I had, I don't travel with these bottles. I had a travel size of this when I just came back from my trip. But when I went on my trip, it did not make it back because it fell and it broke and it scented up the entire room. And I was so upset with myself because it was essentially my fault. I kept saying, I need to move it, I need to move it, and I never moved it. And when I went to go grab something, it was in the front and it just fell. So anyways, I don't travel with these, so I'm excited to like wear them or wear it this month. This one specifically because I don't, as much as I say this is my favorite, there is another one that is above this and I will go to war over that one. I won't tell you what it is. You'll see it on another fragrance tray. But this one is so good. I feel like this is good for everybody. This isn't if you are, well, it's, you know, you like fruity stuff or you like more of a creamy, you like more of the amber. It's going to be good. It's, it's good. It is so good. If you do not have this, they do have... Um, Again, like the travel sizes and you can get samples. I would say try this one. No, this is like a tried and true for me. I can just go on and on and on. I keep taking the top off and 
smelling it but i love it i love it i love it i love it i'm excited to wear it again day and night but really on the weekends for me just like the lotus pear this one is this one is that girl i love the bottle i love the bottle maybe that's why i also don't travel with it because i just don't want to scratch it <laughs> I, i'm so obsessed so yes this is the last fragrance for this month okay girl that brings us to the end of the video if you have made it to the end thank you so much for tuning in i really 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 appreciate it what are you wearing for the month of august are you kind of like me where you're moving to like the florals and you are ready for the fall so you're kind of adding a few of those fragrances into your rotation as well if not girl that's your business don't forget to like comment and most importantly subscribe i would love to have you okay girl talk to you later Thank you.